is the layout for my upcoming patchwork placement. I use the four inch apple core template to cut these quilt blocks, apple core quilt blocks. So it has an Afrocentric theme, as you can see, black, red, yellow, and green. So this is it. This is the layout for my upcoming patchwork placement, apple core patchwork placement. I used a four inch apple core template and a 28 inch rotary cutter to cut these quilt blocks. What do you think? Isn't it cute? So yeah, I'm not new to um, curry piecing. Uh, I, my first experience with curve piecing was the Drunkard's Path quilt block 20 years ago when I first started quilting. So I have been quilting now for 20 years. And I'm thankful to my 1,000 YouTube subscribers. So I'm sending a special thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my YouTube channel. You are amazing. You helped me reach 1K. Wow. Check out these blocks. Aren't they cute? So I'll just fold them in half and so pin them from the center to one side, center to the other side, and just sew them together slowly using my quarter inch foot on my sewing machine. So you pin them from the center to the left and then the center to the right or the center to the right and then the center to the left and you sew them together. So I'll sew them in four patches. So I mean that'll be a four patch right there and then that's a four patch and I'll left the, be left with these two. So I flip them over and sew them on top of this four patch and then that's a four patch. That's another four patch. And then I'll be left with these two. Sew them together and then flip them over and sew them on top of this four patch. So I have one four patch, two four patch, and then a two patch. Okay? Then that's another four patch. And another four patch. Then a two patch. And that's how I'll sew my placement together. Or the quilt top, because this will be the quilt top for my upcoming patchwork placement, apple core patchwork placement. So this will be my first time sewing apple cores together, but it will not be my first time sewing cur with uh, sewing uh, my quilt blocks together using curved piecing, and it's not hard. So you just you will fold this together, fold this up, and then pin that, and that crease, it'll be two creases. And then that's what you would, uh, so you would pin together to this side, pin together to this side, and then see the top, I marked the top. So if I flip this over, there's the top, okay? And then you flip this one over. There's the top. Okay, so that's what I do. As I cut them, I mark the top. See, that's the top. So the square stays a square. And you just rotate the apple core block versus uh, depending on what direction the apple core will go in. So some will be side to side, some will be up and down. So pretend this was an up and down square. Okay? You flip it over. There's the T for the top of the block. So pretend this was an up and down square. You flip it over. There's the T for the top of the block. So doing it that way ensures that the cross wing 
grain is going crosswise grain is going side to side and the up and down grain is going up and down the long wise grain is going up and down now you mess with some prints and you don't have the grains going right it's just going to look up like a big old mess and you don't want that so i have you i mark every square the top of every square then when i go to cut, cut out my apple core quilt blocks you rotate that template verse depending on what direction the apple core will go in in the array and that's basically how it goes thanks for watching my video please like share share my stuff is it watch my videos i need to get my watch hours up well thanks for watching my video subscribe 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 check you later